Without a doubt, 2017 has been an outstanding year for games. After hours of careful deliberation, we've chosen 10 games as the best of the best. These are IGN's nominees for Game of the Year. With Cuphead's solid gameplay mechanics, stunning art direction, and stellar score, the team at Studio MDHR have mastered the art of the hardcore platformer. The beauty of Cuphead is not only reflected in the Fleischer Studios' aesthetics, but the masterful and addicting gameplay that will keep you coming back for more. Even if you've died against the same boss 15 times, with Cuphead, it's always a good day for a swell battle. With superb gameplay across PS4, Xbox, and PC, Destiny 2 is a triumph that manages to mesh the best social aspects of an MMO with a first-person shooter. The world is filled with visually striking set pieces, from the oceans of Nessus to the throne room of Kallus. The PC version, in particular, goes above and beyond, allowing you to run Destiny 2 above 60 frames per second, with additional options allowing for a tailored experience for every playstyle. Divinity Original Sin 2 is an RPG with choice and self-expression on a scale that's hard to comprehend. It manages to build on its already incredible predecessor by deepening nearly all of its systems. It showcases more strategic combat, more impactful decisions, and over 74,000 fully voiced lines of branching dialogue. It's easily one of the best new RPGs in years, and one that will almost certainly take multiple playthroughs to experience everything it has to offer. Post-Post-Apocalypse is a novel concept, and Horizon Zero Dawn presents it in a beautiful and savage sprawl. It features some of the biggest and most stunning enemies to grace the PlayStation 4, and its combat system is nearly flawless. Aloy is an incredibly charming and well-written character, and her journey across Horizon's gorgeous dystopia is not one we'll be forgetting anytime soon. In a rich, multifaceted story of robots and androids, Nier Automata explores the relationship or obsession that the created have with their creators. It's one of the most carefully paced and neatly intertwined stories we've ever encountered. Set in a varied world full of lovable characters, Nier's fast-paced, chaotic action weaves all of its outstanding pieces together. The latest chapter in the historic Legend of Zelda franchise is a daunting, beautiful, and seemingly insurmountable feat of open-world genius. But as you inch across its sprawling landscape, becoming incrementally wiser and more powerful, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild slowly reveals itself to be the most epic and ambitious Zelda game yet. From your hike up its first hill to your hundredth hour of adventure, Breath of the Wild never ceases to find new ways to surprise and empower you. Persona 5 redefines the modern JRPG. It's a culmination of everything the franchise has built up to with a pitch-perfect turn-based battle system on top of a captivating, memorable cast of characters. Its lengthy story is filled with twists you will never see coming. With a stunning art style, brilliantly catchy acid jazz soundtrack, and the best talking cat in history, this is a special achievement and a new gold standard for the genre. I'll reveal your true form. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds perfectly captures the high-stakes tension of permadeath. No two matches of PUBG are exactly alike. Finding a sniper in scope early will make you feel like the Predator, while surviving the first few circles with only a shotgun confers the fantasy of a plucky underdog surviving against all odds. Perhaps PUBG's most appealing factor is the ability to team up easily with friends. The added company eases the tension, reduces the learning curve, and ups the fun factor all at once. Judged solely on a smiles per minute ratio, Super Mario Odyssey would win in a landslide. The plumber's latest sandbox 3D platformer oozes joy from every pixel, fusing nostalgic elements of Mario's past with a riveting new enemy capture mechanic that freshens the gameplay in each new world. Even better, when the game is over, it's really only just begun. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus takes the stellar foundation of 2014's reboot and completely blows the whole thing apart. This gorgeous, violent piece of catharsis exudes entertaining combat, fantastic writing, and some of the best characters in any shooter, period. Does this sound kill Nazis? Ah, uh, and 
enthusiastically so. The story constantly surprises with effective twists, new gameplay mechanics, and a progression system that makes us want to keep coming back for more. Yeah, baby! Woo! Those are our nominees for Game of the Year 2017. Tune in on December 20th to find out which of these 10 games came out on top. Take a look at our other nominee videos, including best PS4 games and most beautiful games of 2017. Until then, stick with us here at IGN.
2017 was an outstanding year for movies across all genres. These are our favorites. Blade Runner 2049 plays off the themes, plot, and characters of the 1982 original without retroactively ruining any of those elements. Rather, it organically expands and grows what came before. It's a deep, smart film that's visually mind-blowing and well worth the 35-year wait. The future of the species is finally unearthed. Coco wonderfully explores familial themes, identity, and learning what it means to grow up in a world that isn't perfect. Miguel's trip is a representation of what it means to learn the truth about how life works outside the safe confines of home. Hector, Miguel, and Dante are all characters we won't soon forget. Welcome! Anything to declare? Uh, as a matter of fact, yes. Get Out's journey, every tense conversation, A-plus punchline, and shocking act of violence feels totally earned. And the conclusion is worth each uncomfortable chuckle and moment of doubt. Ultimately, Get Out can't help but ask the question, how would all these white people feel if they could walk in a black person's shoes for a day? And that's something worth considering. Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. It is probably the most Stephen King movie to be adapted from his work. Director Andy Muschietti evokes the horror author's effortless melodrama and in-your-face psychological torment simultaneously because he seems to understand that these sensibilities bring out the best and, by definition, the worst in one another. Nightmares are scarier when they emerge from happy dreams, and happy endings mean a heck of a lot more when unthinkable horror precedes them. Lady Bird tells a heartfelt and very funny coming-of-age story. Saoirse Ronan gives a standout, brilliant performance, and so does Laurie Metcalf as her long-suffering, big-hearted mother. It's a remarkable solo directorial debut from Greta Gerwig. Does mom hate me? They both have such strong personalities. Logan is the Wolverine film that many fans have been waiting for. Hugh Jackman's final appearance as the X-Man that made him famous also serves as a meditation on the very nature of superhero stories and the comic book movie genre itself. It's an emotional, heavy picture, but it's also an uplifting one that reminds us that it's okay to fight for something more. This is what life looks like. While The Big Sick is small in scope, it's more than capable of holding its own thanks to an outstanding cast. Its highly engaging story doesn't feel precious or sanitized, but it's relatable and engrossing from start to finish. And you'll laugh a hell of a lot. I have to tell you something, babe. I've been dating this girl. She's white. A white girl? Hey, you can't look like you and yell white girl. It's okay. We hate terrorists. The Shape of Water is director Guillermo del Toro's strongest Hollywood film to date. It's a visually and emotionally engrossing fable. It's a fairy tale, a monster movie, and a social commentary. But above all else, it is a love story. It is poetic yet accessible and earnest without being overly sentimental. When he looks at me, he doesn't know how I am incomplete. He sees me as I am. War for the Planet of the Apes is an excellent closing act to this rebooted trilogy. Andy Serkis is once again outstanding as Caesar as he wrestles with the morality of interspecies warfare. Director Matt Reeves displays a fantastic ability for both spectacle and restraint in delivering one of the best summer blockbusters in years. There are times when it is necessary to abandon our humanity to save humanity. Wonder Woman is leaps and bounds above the other entries in the DC film universe. It showcases a dramatic setting, entertaining action scenes, and a strong supporting cast all working together to tell an inspirational hero's journey. Wonder Woman is a win because it successfully tells the story of a woman taking on a war-torn world with the power of love. What's more heroic than that? I was brought to life by Zeus. Well, that's neat. Those are our picks for the best films of the year. Let us know if we missed your favorite in the comments. Be sure to check out more of our best of 2017 coverage, like best PS4 games and the most beautiful games of the year. Until next time, stick with us here at IGN. Shall we begin?
will never understand what's so amusing about penises. We only wanted to make the world better. Better? Better never means better for everyone. <laughs> to keep your seatbelt fastened as everything you know and love will soon be gone. Why am I so important? We're at war and we're losing. Lebanese. Wait, you're from Lebanon? No. There's a lot more like me. Do you think so? We were just happy to be alive. To have shown that we had the potential to be real heroes. myself into a pickle, Morty! I'm Pickle Rick! You've forgotten your purpose! Diane. 11.30 a.m., February 24th, entering the town of Twin Peaks. Great chicks in my
want to just give me a go? God, I think I love you. That's too bad. Find some funky on there. It's just in case we gotta rip this joint up. from Gonza. I'm just grabbing the door for you. Oh, all right, kid. Good. good luck out there. A giraffe walks into a bar and he says to the bartender, high balls on me. You get it, right? Oh, that was the end of the joke? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Letting you shoot anyone. Anyone. Anyone else. I 
Okay, you need to relax. It's, it's just a scratch. You can buff that right out. Ladybird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. I'm about to get naked back here. So no bacon. Get help! Please! My brother's dying! Get help! Help him! Oh, classic. Time to wake up, honey.
You just opened the door, right? You didn't go in. I didn't touch the door. You didn't what? It was, it was already open. What? Now it's closed. Now it's open. Did you think it was a real window? So you could leave? Oh, my God. 